Unfortunately, there are many homeless and destitute people all over the world, and we are going to paint one of them in pastel. Lay a light blue over the background and well into the area where the hair will be. Because the eyes are the windows to the soul, we will paint them first. I'm going to give him some light blue eyes. With a very dark blue pencil, draw in the shadows around the eye as well as a dark circle around the iris. Add the pupil and don't worry about the highlights just yet. Plot the shadows around the eye and do the same for the other eye. With a white pencil, lighten the lower parts of the iris because the light is shining through the uh, transparency of the eye and the light is coming from the top right. Do this only for the eye on the right, as the other one is in the shade. Now you can add the highlight with the soft white stick. Now for the jacket, we add a very dark blue color block in that area. Stroke some black over the darker areas and blend with the finger. Blend some violet over the top of this. Now with a lighter blue and some black, paint in the folds catching the, the light. Continue building up the required tonal ranges and colors and blend the lighter area with a white pencil. Block in the hair area with black and blend with the finger, keeping it fuzzy along the edges. Then draw in the forehead wrinkles. With an orange pencil, fill the gaps and lightly blend together. Gently place some dark brown in the shadow area and blend, being careful to leave some lighter areas. Darken up the shadows under the brow Use a white pencil for the lighter skin and blend with a cotton wool bud as the fingers are just too thick for those in the smaller areas. Now carefully build up the tonal ranges around the eyes and the cheeks. Carefully build up the shadows either side of the nose bridge. There will always be a highlight along the top of the nose bridge. Continue lightening and darkening to mold the features of the subject. It is almost similar to a sculptor with a clay model, pulling and pushing as needed. Use a white pencil to blend in the areas that reflect the lights from the right. With a dark brown pencil, add the shadows around the nostril area. And now on the forehead, with a light burnt sienna tint, Stroke in the highlight along the frown lines. These will be on the top of the dark shadow line. Now touch some burnt sienna in places to warm up the skin. And with a cotton wool bud, carefully blend the highlight areas around the eyes and the forehead. Some shadow areas need to be darkened up a little bit more. Very lightly blend the forehead with a grey pencil. Work in the bushy eyebrows and add the yellow dirt glow with some yellow ochre. With a brown pencil, begin to add all the facial wrinkles. After this, we need to paint the ear that is visible. Continue building up the facial features, especially around the eyes. Look closely and you will see a very slight tint of green in parts of the face as well as in the beard. Add the beard in with dark grey and a white pencil and always flick away from the face. At the chin area, block in some darker underpainting with a mauve brown colour. Build up the beard with a whole series of short and long flicks. Once that is finished, use the edge of a soft white stick to add in the few very grey hairs. Do this very lightly and very carefully. A few smaller touch-ups before we begin to paint the unkept hair. Actually, I feel like lending him my comb. But, on second thoughts, I think it would be better just to give it to him. 
We are not going to paint every single hair, only the shapes and the groups. The brain is very clever. It adds all those in for you. Draw in all the general loose hairs first, and then you can really have a ball here. Don't forget to add the ones over the forehead. Now with an orange pencil, begin the general highlights in the hair. Now I see the nose is not properly finished off and needs to be corrected. Finish off by giving the eyebrows some real bushy character. The eye needs an extra glint and then some white hairs for contrast. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching it and also leave a comment below. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this one.